Ross and Otto, and we're here to tell you the latest news of Hitchcock Tulip. So uh, today is the 11th of October, and we finally have a volleyball game after a week off against Ipswich in Tulare. And Tanya and Close has a birthday today, so happy birthday to her. Friday the 12th, there's an enhancement. And the boys have a bye week this week, so there's no football going on. Um, on the 13th, we have Oral and Terp at Florence, and there's a JV tournament, volleyball tournament here in Tulare. So make sure you come and support those ladies. Uh, the 14th, it's Amanda Holes' birthday. Happy birthday, Amanda, on the 14th. Um, on the 15th, we have Jessica Godfrey's birthday, and there is JV football versus Warner. That's been canceled. But it has been canceled, so never mind about okay. that. Uh, six, the 16th, Tuesday, it is Jaden Wolfer's birthday, and there is a junior high volleyball and varsity volleyball uh, versus Sanborn Central, Woonsocket at Woonsocket. <clears throat> on the 17th, we have nothing. Uh, Thursday, the 18th, is the end of the first quarter, and there's football playoffs. Uh, the football's boys' destination is unknown as of today, but we should be able to know who we play by the end of the week, so who knows. So that's it for the calendar this week. So let's jump into our interviews with Coach Op, Coach Nelson, and Coach Rick Neal. Hi, this is Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Coach Op. So, Coach, uh, how did the game against Warner go? You know, we look back, it's been a while since we played Warner. Um, we played very well. We went up there, battled. Um, I think we lost 25, 19, 16, and uh, 12. But I think we turned some heads with some people. They were really surprised on how well our group played. Um, so that was nice to see. We blocked well, and we, we did some good things. So that was good. So you've had about a week uh, week's rest for the volleyball girls, and now they have Ipswich, uh, I believe, tomorrow or uh, Thursday. So how's that game looking? Um, I went up and watched Ipswich last night here play uh, Mobridge, and they're going to be a tough opponent. Um, they're not going to be a walk in the park by any means. Um, they have a good hitter in, in Abby Grabowska that we're going to have to slow down. Um, they like to run a 6-2. They hit from all different angles of the court. Um, they serve tough, so we're going to have our hands full Thursday night. So, But it, I, I think it's, it's going to be a good game, so um, I can see it going four or five sets. You also have uh, Sanborn Central coming up next week. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about that game? Um, you know, we saw Sanborn in the tournament. Um, again, um, they're a very decent team. Um, they got Tessa Jensen in the, as the middle hitter, so we're going to have to control her once again um, and just play our type of game. If we block block well like we did in, in the tournament and, and take care of our errors and, and cut down our errors, we shouldn't have a problem. All right, that's all. Thank you. Back to you. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Coach Nelson. Coach Nelson, so how did the game go against Northwestern? Yeah, it was a good game. Uh, the, the Patriots won 36 to eight, uh, which allowed us to clinch a playoff spot for the playoffs starting next Thursday. Who are you expecting to play in the playoffs? Uh, we don't know who that, that's going to be just quite yet. Uh, we'll probably know by Friday evening who we're going to play, but whoever it is, we'll be ready to go. All right. Well, good luck, and back to you. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with with uh, Coach McNeil. So, Coach, tell me about how the cross country season has gone for you. Um, we've had a good season. Uh, our numbers are up. We have 13 kids out this year, so that's been fun. Um, uh, all of our kids have made nice progress. We've got kids running at the varsity and JV level, and um, we have a girls team, girls varsity team made of um, Danielle Knoll and Jessica Godfrey and Cambry McNeil, and then Kinsey runs JV. And then we also have even though we've lost two to injury, we lost Titus and Logan um, to injury with football, but uh, we've got our varsity team of Cully and Zach, Raymond and um, Cody Wright, and they'll run the, the varsity level as a team tomorrow at Regions. And then we've got Mason and Zach, or Zach, Jack at, um, the JV. We also have Jed Waldner, who is a champ this year. Um, I knew I was forgetting somebody, so I needed my list here. But uh, Jed is uh, awesome for team spirit. He's a go-getter, and we appreciate his hard work as well in the JV race. So thanks. Sorry, Jed. <laughs> so with regions being tomorrow, what are you looking forward to in the region meet? Um, I'm looking for a good, strong effort from our kids. Um, 
we've got a tough region, so top 20 go, um, top three teams. Um, I, it's going to be a tough run. It's a Webster's course. It's, it's a tough, challenging course. But um, if we can get some kids in, it's, they're going to have to run well. Um, but uh, they're, they've been making progress all year, so could have some good things tomorrow. Um, if not, I hope to have everybody back next year because next year would, will be a good year for the Patriot cross country team. So we'll see. And best of luck to them. All right, back to you. Thank you for those interviews. And boy, it's the foot sport seasons have gone by fast. You know, it just seems like yesterday we started our seasons. You know, cross country is coming to uh, you know regions this today, and hopefully some of the cross country runners make it to state. And you know, football is coming to an end pretty soon with the playoffs drawing near. And volleyball is what two two weeks over about till. Um, the last regular season game until, was on the 22nd of October start. until regions, regions start to then come up. Come up. And so then we'll see where we're sitting there. You know, uh, I'm excited to see what the sports teams are going to do. You know, football team has been doing good. Volleyball team has been looking good the past couple of weeks. So hopefully we um, do some good things, you know, come to the end of the season. So now let's hop and do our interviews with the elementary students. Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel with Lena Puffer. How's school going? Good. What are you doing in school right now? Um, in math, we're doing multiplication and um, different stuff. Fun. Um, what do you do at recess? I play with my friends and we <laughs> play tag or something like that. Fun. What do you want to be for Halloween? I want to be some sort of horse. Fun. Back to you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Gentry Puffer. Hi, Gentry. Hi. How are you? Good. How's school going? Good. What are you learning? Phonics. What do you do at recess? Kickballs. That, that sounds fun. What do you want to be for Halloween? Cowboy, I guess. A cowboy, wow. That's cool. Now to Trajan. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Patrick Maynard. So, Patrick, um, what are you learning in math today? Uh, times. That sounds fun. Do you like math? Yeah. Um, so, what do you do out at recess? Uh, play basketball. With who? With Devin and Cash and Max. Oh, fun. Uh, so, what are you going to be for Halloween? A clown. Are you excited for Halloween? Yeah. Do you, what, what's your favorite candy? Kit Kat. Kit Kat? All right, back to you. So, uh, Bethany and Shandy had a color run last Saturday for their FCCLA project. So, we talked to them about that. So, so over to Dawson with her interview with Shandy and uh, Bethany. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Bethany and Shandy. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing today? We are good. So I heard last Saturday you guys had your FCCLA project, which was a memory color run. How did that go? It turned out good. I thought there would be more people, but it was good. How much money did you raise? I raised over $500. Was it cold? Yes. What was your purpose of doing this? We wanted to donate money to the Ronald McDonald House to help families in need. My reason for doing this was for my brother. That's very nice. Now to you. So last week, the college fair was in Aberdeen, and the Jews and seniors attended it. Basically, a lot of colleges there, people, students can go and visit it and see what kind of college uh, fits them. You know, I thought it was a cool, cool thing to go to, see all the colleges available, things that pique your interest. So, you know, Northern, SDSU, USD, Black Hill State, all those colleges were there, you know, so it was cool to talk to them and see what they had to offer. What did you think of it? I thought it was a good experience for a person that hasn't picked a college for sure yet. It was nice to go there and explore my options, especially because I got to talk to some businesses as well, so that was nice. Where do you think you want to go to college, Peyton? I'm thinking about Northern State University, uh, possibly for education. Who knows, my major may change, but Northern seems like the place. 
I will be attending. What about you? I haven't decided what college, but I'm thinking going into nursing is probably my top priority right now. But my options are probably NSU, SCC, or Lake area, so we'll see how that turns out. Well, we also have for you the day with the first quarter drawing here next week to an end. And yeah, I think that's all you got. So remember, be awesome, not, not average. average. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tuller.